Welcome, Welcome back, back pop stars. stars. I'm Rizzo. I am Benji. We are doing something a little different today. This is actually a mutual friend of ours. They do some awesome animations. I'm sure you've seen them all over Instagram or TikTok. They collaborate with Kevin James. Is that his name? Not Kevin James, the Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> yeah, Kevin James Thornton. You know, the guy who says it was the 90s. 90s. <laughs> we are hoping to eventually collaborate with this animator because again, their work is hilarious. So funny. So if you've so seen good. it before, welcome. We're watching this. If not, then you're introduced to some new stuff. We always laugh at their work. So I'm just excited to watch them all in this 18 minutes. Glory. All condensed. Yeah, this is like a no scroll TikTok. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one. Engage. When I was like 12 years old, I discovered that wine was made with fermented grape juice. So I snuck into oh, no. the kitchen and got <laughs> a bottle of Welch's grape juice and thought, wouldn't it be so adult if I had a bottle of wine in my Sorry. Sorry. closet? <laughs> and I checked on it. His every laugh day is insane. But it turned into wine yet. And then eventually just forgot about it. And then oh, like no. a year oh, later, my God. I rediscovered it and thought, oh my God, the Jesus of face wine is like, closet. I've been here for 60 <laughs> years. Oh no. That was the moment. So I opened it up and it smelled disgusting. And I was like, are you ready to be an adult or not? Oh no. To himself? To my lips. Uh, and this like disc of oh. mold slid my head. <laughs> And I thought, I guess I'm not ready to be an adult. When I was like eight or nine Well, years I had old, never seen that one before. <laughs> took me to a store and behind the counter there was a display of toys. And oh, my I grandpa said, one. pick out one of those toys. Toys. Said, I'll have that Wonder Woman. To I'll have that Wonder Woman. And the counter and looked at me and said, that, that toy, toy is for, for little girls. girls. And off. my grandpa looked at me and said, is that the toy you want? And I said, yes, grandpa, give me that Wonder Woman doll. <laughs> give me that Wonder and Woman doll. And he bought the doll for me and the woman shot me a dirty look. And the moral of the story, I think we can all agree, is that Grandpa's Grandpa uh, made me gay. gay. At the seventh grade dance, I remember there was this girl named Tara, and yes. Tara had really developed like way earlier than the other like girls. And at the dance, they played that Bon Jovi song, Living on a Prayer. And Tara started dancing around, and she was like, I love this song. <laughs> and uh, she was really bouncing around. And all of the boys at the dance were like, wow. And so was I. But from my perspective, it was because, like, her hair looked really amazing. And I mean, her dance yeah. moves were almost wow. like she'd choreographed to the Bon Jovi song. And I went right up to Tara and I said, Tara, you look amazing. amazing. And all the guys were like, wow, Kevin is really bold. And Tara was like, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> With little starry eyes. <laughs> so right after college, I realized Amazing. I needed to go to another school to learn how to actually make money. And everyone was like, yeah. you make so much money doing hair. Oh, and I've thought, seen oh this God, one. I make so much money doing, doing hair. hair. So I oh, went hair. to beauty school. But two weeks in, I totally regretted it. I hated it so much. We just kept looking at pictures of <laughs> that coffee's mu and Why? And I remembered humans are disgusting. So I went to the office and said, could I please withdraw and get a refund? And she said, that's against policy. Do you have a valid reason? And I knew I was going to have to go big. And she wasn't going to let me out of it. So I said, I just got a record deal. And what I wasn't expecting is she screamed at the top of her lungs, then burst out of the office and announced it to the whole school no. and now i'm signing autographs oh my god <laughs> but i didn't care because i got my money back when i was like i don't care because i got my money back the maxi pads in the bathroom and i said mom what are these and she said you put them in your underwear so the next morning before school i put one in my underwear adhesive side up oh I went to no school and it was really oh no Oh and I no! Went to the bathroom oh. to try to peel it off, and that adhesive is really strong. And I was in there a long time, and then the teacher came in and said, "Kevin, are you okay?" <laughs> and I said, "Yes." And then I thought maybe if I get it wet, it'll peel off easier. So I went 
over to the sink and then the teacher came back in and she just froze. I could tell she couldn't quite comprehend what she was looking at and she just turned around and like when I was like what the fuck? Was like, no, a that's a nightmare. And dad in the living room <laughs> and that terrible moment happened that we've all experienced where you're suddenly watching a love scene with your mom and dad. Actually never. I don't and I can't think of anything like that. Room, and we're all super I like how the popcorn bowl is, is animated like I can't. Is it part of the family? Yeah. So I tried to say she's pretty, but my she's voice didn't pretty. work, and so I just sort of like in a creepy whisper was like, "She's pretty." Yeah. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, she's just fucking pretty. unhinged anime. They said she's pretty. I worked at Olive Garden all through college, and when I graduated, I was like, "I'm gonna move up in the world," and I applied to work at a fancier Italian chain restaurant, yeah. and I got dressed up and got my resume and went in there. And the manager made me sit down and take this very long personality test. Very long test. personality test. Questions like sometimes people are dishonest, agree or disagree. <laughs> and it took one. like 45 <laughs> minutes. It was crazy long. And then the manager disappeared into his office and reemerged a few minutes later with this very serious look on his face. And he was like, I'm sorry, we can't interview you. <laughs> And I was like, what? And he was what? like, you failed the personality test. <laughs> I mean, he did not fail the personality I so test. Shocked. All I could think of to say was, I'm, I'm educated. I'm educated. And he at me and sort of shrugged. <laughs> When I was a kid, Ew. I wanted Dungeons and Dragons so badly, but I'm I wasn't educated. allowed to have it because obviously I'd get possessed because <laughs> it was the 80s. It was the 80s. But by Just obviously, floating in the air. To buy it obviously you'd so get possessed. So I went possessed. to the toy store and then brought it home, and I was so excited to open the box and play with the dragons. Oh my god, no. Can imagine my surprise when it was just a Imagination. Of paper and some no. Dice, and I was like, what is this? No. I realized I made the biggest mistake of my entire life. And I went back to the toy store to return it. And the they were like, why? Side. And I was like, I think it's broken. <laughs> no. <laughs> and they're like, what? And I would double down, even though it didn't make sense. I was like, I think it's broken. I tried to play it and it didn't work. It's <laughs> your imagination. Money, money back. The they were like, we don't no. care. <laughs> In my super fundamentalist oh. Christian youth group, we were doing a Thanksgiving dinner for the homeless, and there was this guy who was sometimes weirdly flirty, and he was chopping up these sausages, and then he licked his finger and said, these sausages are delicious, and then I said, are they? And then for some reason, he immediately stuck his finger in my mouth, and I sucked the sausage juice no. off his finger. And then in horror, realized the pastor was standing right there and saw Sausages, the saints, and sinners. And the look on his face was something I've never quite seen before. It was like confusion and a loss of innocence. <laughs> and then he weirdly smiled and said, you guys have a special friendship. And then a little bit later, I saw the pastor throw that tray of sausages. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you wanted to be healthy when it was the 90s, you were supposed to eat at Subway as much as possible. Oh my God. <laughs> I was at Subway, and the girl behind the counter was clearly having a bad day. And I asked her to put black olives on my sandwich. And she immediately got irritated. And she was like, Are you trying to make this a healthy sandwich? And I said, Yes, and with anger in her voice, she was like, "Well, you messed up with the olives," <laughs> and it caught me off guard. And I just sincerely said, "I'm sorry." I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to live in this really terrible apartment building, and on my floor there were these two guys who had those samurai swords that you might hang on the wall if you're into that. <laughs> and one day they got into a pretend samurai sword fight in the hallway oh no it's fun samurai sword fight turned real and one guy got stabbed <sighs> and had to go to the hospital and he ended up being fine but his blood was all over the hallway and the landlord didn't clean it up and i thought isn't this really unsanitary? <laughs> little triangles like horrified. It was really hot that summer and the hallway started to smell like that guy's decaying body. And one time I saw him and I said, this is what you're going to smell like when you die. <laughs> <laughs> And he didn't think it was funny. <laughs> like, Whatever, dude, you lost a fake samurai sword fight. 
<laughs> Whatever, I dude. Dab. Nobody wanted to clean my that. Mom, and I found a crop mom's a wine glass. shirt that said muscles on it. And I said, Mom, can I have that muscles shirt? And she said, No. And I said, Why? <laughs> and she why? said, Because why? the first time someone says, Where's your muscles? You'll never wear it again. <laughs> And I remember I had to really contemplate what she meant because it didn't occur to me that the shirt insinuated that I had muscles. I wanted the shirt because I was just generally a fan of muscle. <laughs> When I was in high school, I had a friend with really long hair, and he wanted to turn it into a mohawk. So he <laughs> shaved the sides of his head oh, and no. then put a ton of Aussie sprunch spray in the top part, but it wouldn't stand up. And it was th this gross flap of hair just <laughs> hanging on the top of his uh -huh. head. And he started to get upset. And then I said, I've heard you can put an egg in it to make it stand up. So he scrambled an egg and put it in his hair. He and now scrambled it's even it? more disgusting. But then I thought, maybe we should iron it. So he laid his head like on my mom's ironing Oh, board, and he's going to have cooked egg in his hair. his hair. And the egg immediately fried. What? And the whole house smelled like burned egg. And he had an um <laughs> <laughs> When I was a kid, I was obsessed with TV what the dinners. Fuck? Every time we were at the store, I'd ask my mom to buy TV dinners. Those little she would never Casey. Buy them. Oh, God, I hated the those. Penguin ones. I hated oh. them. I, I was obsessed. A lizard, and my parents strangely bought the lizard with very little resistance <laughs> then we had to go out of town for a couple days oh no and when we got back home the lizard was gone no and we couldn't figure out what happened to my I'm lizard find it dead and then we found the lizard's tail in the cat's water bowl <gasps> and then uh that night my mom bought tv dinners <laughs> yeah. when i was in seventh grade she I was like yeah my that lizard's to dead buy me parachute pants and that friday night we were going roller skating at united skates of america and before we left i put some sun in in my hair and it turned my hair like the color of a tiger yeah. um, but i felt like i looked really cool because i had some <laughs> oh suddenly he's got like she, some parachute she, pants sun in and some parachute pants and uh, we met at the mall and now i'm a monster so i got my ear pierced at claire's and then we got to the rink and they did the all guys skate and they played a white snake song and i skated really fast and oh, i felt no. like i looked really cool with my son in and some parachute pants sun in and, and some, some parachute, parachute pants, pants. and, <laughs> and them cheeked up for a thursday thing. and i knew i was gonna get in trouble later but i didn't care because i felt alive <laughs> a time where every single person in the world had an acoustic guitar when it was the 90s <laughs> and there would always be one person who would find the guitar at a party and they just pick it up and fully start playing a song like i don't want the world to see me <laughs> yeah sure you don't and you were at a party where maybe you'd make out with someone but now you're at an intimate living room evening with the acoustic stylings of natalie <laughs> yeah. When I was in college in the 90s, everything was so dramatic. Like you'd call your friend at two in the morning and say, I think I'm going to change my major. And your friend would be like, oh my God, we have to meet and talk about it right now. Right now. Go to the family kitchen and drink coffee and smoke cigarettes all night. And I know that's disgusting, but you have to remember it, it was, was the, the 90s. 90s. And then you'd <laughs> be like, I don't think a musical theater major is very practical and my real passion is pottery and the friend would be like well you have to follow your passions then we'd order a basket of seasoned fries and pay for it with our financial aid and i didn't realize it at the time but i'd be paying for those seasoned fries for the rest of my life and the moral of the story kids is don't go to college for me, gym class was torture, and like why do we sleeping teach with a teddy bear that age that college. nothing matters more than sports? And on this particular day, we were going to play basketball, and they just assumed that everyone knew the rules to basketball, but I did not, yeah. and I still don't today. And I don't <laughs> care. And, I don't don't care. Care. and to make it even more vulnerable, my team had to take off our shirts. Oh, no. And I was in a total panic, so I thought, my best strategy is just to lay low until 
until someone threw me the ball and I thought, okay, it's now or never. So I threw the ball and it went perfectly into the basket. The wrong basket, of sound course. And, everything. and I thought, <laughs> finally, I've arrived. I've until arrived. everyone started laughing and apparently I threw the ball into the incorrect basket. Uh. And I remember watching everyone laughing <laughs> and it was like this mind expanding moment because I was like, this doesn't matter. This <laughs> doesn't years old, matter. I, I don't fucking care. Fucking care. And there was a manager named Pam, and she was terrible, and no one could last longer than a couple of weeks. Like witch. And one time it was really busy, and the cook just walked out, and everyone started freaking out. But I just walked up to the grill and started cooking, and it was like a scene in a movie, like the lowly peasant dishwasher <laughs> <laughs> saves the day and pam started putting me on the schedule as a cook and no after way. a couple of months this is totally true i was like <laughs> the main cook at the crappy <laughs> diner because everyone had just quit but pam eventually became a monster again and i'd had enough and i was about to walk out and pam was like kevin where are you going and i turned around and i was like pam i'm only 16 years 16. old <laughs> I was like 10 years old, we were watching TV, and they had on male strippers, and they started dancing around, and I got really excited, and I said, Mom, are they about to take off their pants? Wow. And a little concerned, and then the next morning, I recounted the entire thing in great detail to my grandma, and she said, well, I don't like that sort of thing, and I said, I do. <laughs> I love it, Grandma. Aww. I was like nine years old. I love it, Grandma. Moment, I thought the word tatas <laughs> meant toes. Oh, uh, this is like probably the I first one <laughs> I ever saw. Ever paint your tatas. <laughs> she was like, "What?" And I was like, "Why <laughs> ever paint your tatas?" Your and she tatas. was like, "People don't do that." Tata. And I'm like, "Yes, they do. Mom does it all the time." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, anyway, if you ever decide to paint your tatas, I think you should paint them green. A long time ago, I went on a date with this guy, and I'm very prone to social anxiety, but on a first date, I'll just be fully awkward. Like, why am I talking weird, and I don't know how to move my arms? <laughs> and uh, we met at this place, and we were this waiting place. for our table, and right then a roach ran across the floor. And I don't know why I did this. I swear this is not something I would normally do. Uh -huh. But I knelt down and gently picked up the roach <laughs> and opened the door and set it free into the wild. And for a brief moment, I thought, he's going to think I'm like a cool nature guy. It's and then roach. I turn around and I see his face and he's sort of pale horrified. and horrified. And so I just freeze and then he's like... <laughs> Do you need to go wash your hands? And now I'm like, great, he thinks I'm not gonna wash my hands, and I don't know, maybe I wasn't. The whole thing was a blur. I, college, I was in a relationship okay. with this guy named Adam, and one day where I was working, his ex-boyfriend walked in and said, you can have Adam, and I was like, what? You guys broke I've up like this. two years ago. And he said, no, we didn't. And then we put our stories together, and this oh, web no. of deception unfolded. He was in a relationship with both of us for like two years and neither one of us knew yeah. so we sent adam's pager a message because it was the 90s and we went to his house to confront him and when we got there he was really drunk and he started crying and he ran out the front door so both of us ran after him and now we're all three running down the sidewalk <laughs> crying screaming adam's name and at the time that was really traumatic but looking back that story is really stupid <laughs> All of them running and crying. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Damn, like, that honestly, is... the stories are already great, but then adding the animation I on don't top. Fucking care. It's like, <laughs> oh my god! Oh, uh, yeah. So show them some love. Go follow Java Doodles Absolutely. on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Let them know, hey, who sent you the Pink Pop? Pink Popcast sent you. Yeah. Ya. Go spam Java Doodles and say Pink Popcast sent us to say. 
fucking awesome, awesome stuff Good here. job. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say, Benji? It was the 90s. No. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Rizzo. I'm Benji. Sweet dreams, pop stars. And keep watching. And keep watching. Yeah.